OK, we'll take a look at the camera button in the toolbar shortly. However, first, I want to show you the conversation view accessible down here and how this works superbly with your voice. Now, you can type text, but I'm not going to. I'm going to tap on the microphone. How much to take us to the Eiffel Tower? And we can see it's picked that up correctly, as we would expect. And I can tap play to hear the translation if I wish. Combien pour nous emmener à la Tour Eiffel? But what if you're talking directly to someone, which, let's be honest, you will be most of the time. Now, I'm reasonably advanced with French, German and Latin, oddly enough, and I've always found the listening to be the hardest. We'll just tap on the microphone and get your conversation colleague to speak. Environ 25 euros. And look at that. It detected who was speaking and puts up the French to English translation. So I'll tap the microphone again. That'd be great. Thank you. I'll play it. Ce serait génial. Merci. And I do tend to play this back when I'm using the application, even if I'm not in a conversation with someone, just so that I can understand how to say the words a little bit more like a native. And then finally, a little bit more French. De rien, monsieur. I really like how this works. And the settings for this are up here in the top right. You can see down here, I have it set to detect languages and you can also set it to play the translations automatically as well. So it's just like each party in the conversation has their own translator standing next to them, repeating what's said, but in an understandable language. Also, you can come over here to this button and you can change it from this side by side view to a face to face one. So the English we can see is on my side and the French translation on the other side. We both have our own microphone buttons. Really useful to have. Let's take a look at the camera now. And probably my main use case for this when I'm overseas is when I'm looking at a menu that doesn't have an English translation. So on the left, you can see we have a menu. Now, I don't have a physical one to hand, sadly, but this is going to work just as well. And now on the iPhone, I'm going to tap on the camera button. You can see at the bottom is currently set to translate from English to Spanish, but I need to change the English to French and the Spanish to English there. Now I'm just going to move the iPhone a little bit closer here. And you can see there very quickly it's translated everything. And I can tap here to kind of capture this and I can review what's here. So at the top, foie gras, poil les rouge is red pan fried foie gras. And if there's a Spanish person in my party, well, no problem. I can tap here, change it to Spanish. And we now have a Spanish translation instead. Now, it doesn't have to be live items that you're looking at to get a translation. You can translate any photos that you've captured as well. So I'll tap on this image button. And here you can see that I took Amelia to her first Tottenham game this weekend. I don't need to translate that. I need to come somewhere here in my collections. Well, I took a screenshot of an Apple intelligence splash screen and you can see it's automatically translated into French there. And I can change this, of course. So let's see it in Italian. Or what about Portuguese here? It's wonderful having this at our fingertips. So using the camera in the translate app is good for both live text that you're looking at as well as maybe taking photos and then translating them later on in the day when you're sat down with a well-earned drink. I've shown you how you can use the Translate app directly from the home screen. If your iPhone has an action button, however, so that's the iPhone 15 Pro, the Pro Max, and all of the 16 models, you can set it to carry out a translation. So just go into settings and in here, tap on action button, and this is where you set what that button does. And if I swipe across slowly here, one of these is the translate function. And there we are. So now if I press and hold the action button. Hello, how's it going? Bonjour, comment ça se passe? So great for those one-off phrases that you need to quickly get out there.